and I have a gut feeling about something outside my area of expertise, I wait to hear what the experts have to say before thinking or fearing that I may be right. What did forensic pathologist Michael Bodden say to reinforce my concern of deja vu? Let's break down the facts. Like a lot of us have, I've been watching WFLA's coverage of the search for Brian Laundry, and the reason I find myself at a loss is because I might be too logical. That is in clear contrast with the local police in and around Northport, Florida. For me, it was a no-brainer that as soon as the Northport police got word that Brian Laundry returned from a cross-country trip with Gabby Petito's van, but without Gabby, and that her mother reported her missing, they should have had plainclothes surveillance assigned in anticipation of Laundry taking off. I don't know these people personally, but there could be a very strong possibility that the police were familiar with the family and could have been called in the past for fights between Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito. If true, my best guess would be that top brass in Northport chalked it up as a lover's spat, and based upon interactions with Gabby Petito, they thought it very possible that she took off somewhere out west and this was not an endangered missing person situation. It could have also been about money. Since the FBI did not name Brian Laundrie as a person of interest, which they should have done immediately, the Northport police weren't going to pay plain clothes officers to keep Laundrie under surveillance. Even when they finally did name him, as the subject of a federal investigation, the city of Northport and state of Florida may have expected the feds to pick up the cost for surveillance manpower. As long as additional, far more serious charges aren't announced by the FBI against Brian Laundrie, right now, there is a somewhat extensive investigation into the disappearance of someone wanted for bank card fraud. Obviously, if you or I were wanted for this same crime and we took off, it's not likely that even our local police would spend any money looking for us. Therefore, it's obvious that this money, time, and manpower has been expended in anticipation of murder charges being forthcoming. Will any more charges be forthcoming? When I learned that not only was the cause of Gabby Petito's death not released, her body had yet to be returned to her family, my first thought was, that's not good. Did so much time go by that it's going to end up like it did with Kaylee Anthony, that the actual cause of death can't be determined? It's one thing to rule on the manner of death, And even if Gabby Petito's manner of death was ruled a homicide or death at the hands of another, if the physical evidence recovered can't determine what it was that another person did to cause Gabby Petito's death, they won't be able to link that death back to the hands responsible for causing it. Once Dr. Bodden opined about how unusual it was for Gabby Petito's cause of death not to have been released yet and her body not to have been returned to her family, The only logical conclusion I could draw from this was that Gabby Petito's cause of death cannot be determined. In the Casey Anthony trial, the prosecution's screw-up was that forensic examination was unable to establish the cause of death for Kaylee Anthony. Because her mother was tried for the premeditated murder of her daughter, the prosecution had the burden of proving to a jury, beyond reasonable doubt, that she formed a criminal intent to take the life of her daughter after which acting upon that intent caused the death of that child. How could the state bring such serious charges to trial without having the actual cause of death for Kaylee Anthony? This is what the jury was faced with, and without evidence of cause of death presented at trial, how could they possibly find beyond reasonable doubt that Casey Anthony killed her daughter with intent? I believe they voted for acquittal not because they thought Anthony was innocent of any wrongdoing, but because they didn't know what she did or didn't do to cause her child's death, or whether it was deliberate or an accident. Is this where investigators are at in the Gabby Petito homicide investigation? Her body was found in some very unforgiving terrain after about three weeks being deceased. The condition of her remains may not have yielded any clues about the cause of death. Did Brian Laundry know this? Now I'd like to hear from you. In the comments below, let me know if you think that Brian Laundrie left Gabby Petito the way he did, 
knowing that after a few weeks in the elements, it wouldn't be able to be determined how she died. Do you share my concern about a cause of death not being released and a murder indictment not yet announced? I'm interested in your thoughts here. Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.